What's up everyone? So Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 came with a cool feature of monitoring blood oxygen or SpO2. On Galaxy Watch 3, most of the time you had to manually take a reading or it was measured during a workout, unlike other smartwatches like the Apple Watch Series 6 and the TicWatch Pro 3, where it is measured automatically in the background after regular intervals. But finally Samsung has pushed a new update to S Health application and now you can monitor blood oxygen automatically while taking a nap. In order to use this feature, make sure your Samsung S Health app is up to date. You can check that by going into Samsung Galaxy Apps. Now swipe to the right and here tap on Updates. After that go into S Health application and here for your information, this is the app version. Alright, now in order to enable automatic background reading while taking a nap, go to Sleep section in the S Health application and scroll down. Here you will see blood oxygen during sleep, just toggle it on. Make sure your watch is connected to your phone while you enable this option. It is also saying that measurement can cause a light to flash on the back of your watch, so keep that thing in mind if you are sensitive to light. And the second part is saying that for best measurement, make sure to wear the watch 2-3 to cm above your wrist bone. So here is my wrist bone and this is the region below my wrist bone and this is the region above my wrist bone. According to Samsung as health, for an accurate reading, you have to wear your watch 2 to 3 cm above your wrist bone. Also, make sure it is snug fit, not too tight, and not too much loose. So, guys, yeah, this was the update on blood oxygen for your Samsung Galaxy Watch. If you have any questions, just drop them below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe, as I'll be getting my hands on the Galaxy Watch 4 pretty soon. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.